Psychiatry for a Mad World An extract from the book Stress can cause schizophrenia Experts are still uncertain as to the exact causes of schizophrenia, but most support what is called the Stress Vulnerability Model, a model which describes the likelihood of a person to acquire a wide range of mental illnesses. This model states that each person has a different vulnerability to schizophrenia or other mental illness, which is determined by a combination of environmental, psychological and biological factors. In some people there is a genetic link, where the gene passed to them by their parents may increase vulnerability. Other factors which may affect vulnerability to schizophrenia include being brought up in an urban environment or the use of recreational drugs. An estimated 8 to 13 percent of people with schizophrenia today would never have got it had they not used cannabis. The stress vulnerability model suggests that for a person who is highly vulnerable, a moderately stressful event such as a job loss may trigger the condition, and for someone who has low vulnerability, the condition may only be triggered by a high stress event such as a bereavement or not at all. So the onset of schizophrenia is from a combination of vulnerability and stress. To identify the cause then, we need to look at what causes vulnerability, but also we need to identify sources of stress. We saw previously how my experiences of severe stress eventually contributed to my psychosis, and psychosis is closely linked to schizophrenia. It seems clear then that the stress I experienced from cruel people in my life could easily have generated schizophrenia. Stress is the key factor. The NHS website identifies the common causes of stress as being money matters, work issues, relationships, bereavement, family problems and moving house. Money matters, bereavement and moving house are outside the scope of this book, but we can look into work issues, relationships and family problems. The list supports my personal experience that relationships and family problems are major sources of stress. And being major sources of stress, they are, for some people, likely to be causes of schizophrenia or other mental illnesses. It is often the cruel and selfish people in our lives who give us mental illnesses. More on stigma. Psychosis and schizophrenia are two of the most common ailments to attract misconceptions and stigma, sometimes gaining sufferers the label psycho. But stigma exists around other mental illnesses. One of the most common mental illnesses is depression. The World Health Organization predicts that by the year 2020, depression will be the leading cause of disability and the second leading contributor to the global burden of disease. Mental illnesses such as this are not what you might call odd, they are, to a large extent, very normal. But there is still stigma associated with depression, and some people still believe it is a sign of weakness or admission of failure. In 2003, the British heavyweight boxing champion, Frank Bruno, fell ill with depression and was sectioned under the British Mental Health Act. The psychologist Professor Carrie Cooper put Bruno's depression down to a combination of stresses, including the end of his boxing career, the breakdown of his marriage, and the suicide of his former trainer. Bruno was later diagnosed as having bipolar affective disorder. But how was Bruno's illness portrayed in the media? The Sun splashed its front page with the headline, Bonkers Bruno Locked Up, above a story which labelled him a nut. The chief executive of the mental health charity SANE, Marjorie Wallace, said the son's stance was, quote, both an insult to Mr Bruno and damaging to the many thousands of people who endure mental illness to label him as bonkers or a nutter, and having to be put in a mental home. Such ignorant reporting does both the media and the public a huge disservice, end quote. A study of the British tabloids in 1997 found that 40% of daily tabloid articles and nearly half of Sunday tabloid articles about mental health contained derogatory terms such as nutter and loony.